In this video I'm going to show you how you can use parametric equations to, to produce an optical illusion. So let me just illustrate it. Stare at this animation. Um, you will be forgiven to, um, to say that it's a circle revolving within a circle because it looks like, um, like all the particles are creating a circle and the circle is actually revolving within a circle. But in fact the particles are not actually moving in a circular motion. It's actually uh, moving in straight lines. So let me just illustrate it. All the particles are moving in straight lines. Um, hang on. So let me just bring back all the lines. There, all, if you look carefully, all the particles are actually moving in straight lines. So now we're, we're going to try and create this in, uh, in Desmos. So let's just, uh, let's just draw a circle of radius A. So this is a radius A. We've done this before, so I'm expecting you to know how to draw this. Now create our circle um, to create. Now, now create our. Hang on. We now need to create this this circle here. Bear with me. See the uh, see the red circle there. We need to create this red circle. So the uh, the idea here is this. Hang on. The idea here is this. Hang on. So, so we now need to create this uh, this purple circle. So, um, so wait there. So, what we what we're going to do is we draw a circle of uh, of radius half a, and then uh, well, if, if to 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 create the anima to create the animation that the circle is revolving, notice that the the purple circle, the center of the purple circle, is actually moving around another circle. So, uh, so let's let's just say this. Currently, the the uh, purple circle is here. The trick is to draw the purple circle centered at the origin, and then move it across accordingly. Move it across, and then move it up to the right place. Well, uh, and that right place will be uh, another circle of radius um, a over two. So uh, you see what I mean later. Hang on. Uh, so let's just draw it in Desmos. Bear with me. So go to our new graph. So we've got a big circle. Now let's just draw a circle of radius half of an a, right radius half a. So um, instead of using parametric form, I'm going to use um, um, Cartesian form. So a normal circle is um, a uh, x squared plus uh, x squared plus y squared. y squared and then equals the radius uh, the radius squared equals um, equals the radius squared so that would be uh, bracket a over 2 and then close it off and then square it because it's half of uh, the radius of the big circle uh, I'm just going to tidy this up to a squared over 4 so this would be a squared divided by four. So now, um, now, now, if we change the radius, it would change accordingly. So now we just now, hang on, let's go back to here. Now we need to. Uh, so this currently our circle is centered at the origin. We need to move it across by this amount and then move it up by this amount. Well, this. Well, if, if you look at this, hang on. So, um, so C is going to represent, C is, in parametric form, C could represent our time. So this is C here, and it's zero. So C, C represents our angle as we're revolving, uh, as we're moving around like this. So by the time it gets to 2 pi, it would have done, this, this center of the circle would have done one revolution. Uh, so hang on. So let's just say currently, it is this angle here is C. So um, so if this angle here is C, what is this height and what is this across here? Well, the across here. Well, don't forget the the radius from here, the distance from here to here is a over two. So if you want to know the height, it would be a over two sine the angle, which is C. 
and then if you want to move if you want to know this across distance it would be a over 2 cos c so so once you've got your circle you just need to move it across by this amount and then move it up by this amount so let me illustrate it hang on so we've got our circle here this is our circle here so we want to translate it across by um, by uh, by by that amount which we said earlier so that would be this moving it across in the x direction it would be this it would be this minus a over 2 a over 2 and then uh, and then cos c cos c uh, c would be our slider c in a way represents our time it ticks away from 0 from 0 to 2 pi 2 pi um, and then now we need to move it up by the vertical amount so hang on that would be Uh, minus sine minus a over 2 a over 2 sine C so now um, now as, as as you move C around from 0 to 2 pi it's actually doing the right amount okay I will continue in the next video